Hey everybody, welcome back to more XCOM 2 Long War 2. I'm Liz. This is Operation War Chalice. It is a supply convoy raid in our only region, which is at Advent Strength 1 currently. Which is amazing considering we have the Network Tower mission up right now. If we do not go on this mission, Advent Strength will become 2. Doing this mission pre excuse me, prevents Advent Strength from going up. It could still go up if they're calling for emergency um, alien reinforcements, and then there will be an off-world, like, sh uh, 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 an alien ship that will come in and drop reinforcements, but um, if we do this now, we prevent Advent's on-world reinforcements from coming into the area. I think this is really important, and we're going to do it. We have 180 intel. We are boosting infiltration. Light activity! That's like 15 enemies that we're going to have to deal with. I was kind of hoping maybe we would get very light. We probably would have if we had one less soldier infiltrating. I think that's how I calculated it. We would have had a chance of getting it if we had one less soldier infiltrating. Um, it's going to be rough. I think we have five dudes and one or two of them are rookies and we have really shitty soldiers on our squaddies and corporals and last corporals and whatnot. It's going to be rough. Strength in the region is one. It is light activity, so it's going to be a bunch of their shittiest people. I think if we're careful and we take them apart piece by piece, although I don't think we have a shinobi to actually find them, then we can do this. I'll see you on the ground. It's going to be fun. All right, so looking at the pre-deployment cutscene, we had a chance. Menace one five. Coordinates of the advent train are locked in. We have a shinobi after all, and we have a sniper. So between a shinobi and a sniper, we have a shot at this, guys. We got the high ground over here. Let's see if there's anything else on the high ground with us first. This high ground goes all the way across the map, I think. Uh, maybe we don't want to do that. So the idea here is we're going to have to spot them with the shinobi, we're going to have to plug them with the sniper, and we, uh, we'll have to kill the first pod basically in the reveal, in the ambush. We could accomplish that if it's a three-person pod, or a four-person pod maybe. And then um, That's every other pod past that, we're going to have to spot them with the shinobi and plug them with the sniper, which means it's critical importance that we do not get the shinobi revealed. So let's just scout around us a little bit first. That looks like we're clear over here, so we're not going to get revealed from this direction. I am a little concerned about what else might be on the high ground with us, so we are going to move up. Heading out. That found something, actually. Looks like hostiles over here. Okay. Trooper, engineer, sectoid trooper, four-person paw. That's really good. If we can pull that and not use any consumables to kill it, that would be great. I'm going to move the sniper back here behind this high cover, I think. Most likely. I don't have a lot of cover up in this direction, so that's probably the best. Honestly, you should be behind this high cover. To designated coordinates. They'll patrol close enough to me that I'll be able to get shots on them one way or the other, so... I don't have good high cover over there, so you're going to have to use low cover. Location confirmed. Just for the time being. You're going to have to use this low cover. Moving. That'll be an overwatch. And I'm going to move the sniper into the high cover. We cannot reveal the shinobi, so we cannot afford Holding to use our slicey dicey now. sword skills until much, much later in the mission. Um, you don't have a stock. So you're going to hunker down this turn, I guess. And you're going to overwatch, and where do they go? They will patrol towards me, which is good. Very good. I can't afford to be using grenades and shit on these guys, so we're going to have to use the sniper to pull. We'll, we'll snipe the sectoid. You need to be somewhere where you're not going to reveal yourself. I would love for you to scout the region around us, though. Tell us what you see. Nothing over there. That's good. You're probably going to stay right there. What are our shots? 70s and 72. Was there a turret?
Yeah. There's a turret somewhere on top of the train. That's not to be, uh, that's not, um, totally unexpected. There's often turrets on top of trains, so... You've got 70 and 60s, that's not the worst in the world. If I did use a frag, I could only hit two, probably not worth it at all. You could use a frag and hit all of them. And you actually have really shitty aim, so maybe we do pull with a frag. Let's just check sniper first. 74 on the sectoid, we can make that an 84 with 32 to crit. It's a very good chance to crit. Maybe we will hold your shot, but we'll frag with it instead. Or maybe we just let them get into cover. We frag them, let them get into cover, and then shoot with that. How many frags do I have if I do that? I have two more. One on you. This is four, eight, twelve. This is a little under a third of what they have. I think I can afford a frag grenade here. You guys are going to overwatch though. Eyes on the prize. I'm on it. Just because Richter's aim is so shit. And Sniper will take a shot after all is said and done. Probably hollow targeting as well. But let's throw a frag. Let's go for some kills here. We could kill the two troopers potentially. We have a shot at killing the engineer as well. Killing both of the troopers here would be perfect, though. It will limit the targets that we could hit with uh, Overwatch. Well, we killed one. We did one damage to the other. One damage away from killing the Engineer. Come at me, bros. Come at me. Kill the Sectoid. One. And the other shot is a miss. That's bad. So, after all that, they end up having three dudes alive still. Yeah, all right, let's go for the rapid target on the trooper, and let's try and kill it this turn. I was hoping that if there was one guy left, left, I'd be able to kill him on the next turn, and all would be fine. I was not hoping that we would have two, possibly three of these guys alive still. That was not the best ambush. All right, two alive, one is a sectoid. That's it. That could be killed with a flesh on next turn but I can't afford to do it because I need the hey, Shinobi hey, to spot this. targets for the sniper. Engineer is going to flashbang us because he can. And the sectoid... Are you guys? The sectoid's a bit more of a wild card. What's it going to do? Psy panic? Or raise a zombie? Or mind control? Kill. Kill. Mind control? Kill them all. Okay. You remove disorient. I'll just go do that then. What's your shot on the sectoid? Twenty-nine percent. You don't have a flashbang and you're out of whatever anyway. If we suppress the sectoid, does that technically count as uh, breaking mind control? You can't get a flank on him. And your shot is only 12% from here. You don't have hail of bullets and you can't use your grenade this turn. And you've only got 18% on that sectoid. Why only 18%? Okay, if we flashbang you, that would break that. If we suppress you, you technically get like a disorient effect. But I don't think it's sufficient to cause that to break. I can holo target you for the gunner, but that'll only make that a 28%. I'd be better off taking both of these shots to get a graze potentially, and your shot even. Well, it's 0%. It's not going to do anything. You could break this. You could save us here, but I can't afford to have you do that. I have to kill it if I want to break this suppression, and we've got basically 30% to do that. Or break this mind control, rather. I don't think suppression cuts it. This is rough. 
Bring him down, please. 29%. Nice! Oh! Oh, Cameron Johnson saving the day, and you don't have actions or do have actions? Do you have actions? Yeah, apparently you have actions, even though you don't show actions on your thingamabobber. So if you have actions, you're just going to move here and kill this guy, please. Order's confirmed. On the move. Yeah, 88%. Well done. See how far that corpse went flying away as well? Jeez. Nice. So you're going to reload an Overwatch in position, although you're Affirmative. Covering now. disoriented, so I don't know how effective your Overwatch is going to be. And you are going to Overwatch in position. And I am going to continue scouting the high ground with you, Shinobi. Orders confirmed. On the move. Oh shit, that is not cover. Well, hopefully it won't matter. And it didn't matter. Good. Reason we're going to scout the high ground first is because if we run into oh, more way. aliens up here, I can shoot them with a sniper easy without redeploying. Okay, that's it for this high ground. So let's head up to this tree maybe and see what we can see from there. Understood. Moving out. Anyway, that's 3 out of 15, so there's about 12 left. So we've taken this from a light mission to a very light mission. <laughs> the next pod will bring it down to extremely light. And what are our consumable resources that have been used? We've used a frag grenade. And we have no more concealment on basically anybody, so I'm not going to move anybody else. Back online. I am going to move you back here. But I'm not going to move anybody else into a dangerous-ish position until okay. we know what's going on. So Shinobi's the only one who's go. allowed to move forward. There they are. They're in yellow alert. I'm not going to get a shot on them with a sniper, am I? Not from here. I might have a shot from over here, do we? Come on, tell me. Damn it! Tell me! No. We do from all the way out this way. Do you have a shot from up here? Nope. That's rough. As long as they stay down there, it's going to be really hard to get a shot with the sniper. Yeah, because this is sort of blocking it. From out here, we get a little bit better vision. From over here, you could probably see him. But, uh... Let's do it. That didn't reveal anything. And yeah, you have vision on all of them currently. I don't know where they're going to come. They might come up. If they come up, we want to be back a little bit. We do not want the Shinobi getting revealed. They can move more than seven now, too, because they are on Very yellow well alert. Vision. So you're going to pull back. We have vision on one of them. You'll hunker in this position. You're going to overwatch from up here. I'm actually going to rotate you around as well. You can actually just rotate to, to here. Around. And overwatch. Overwatch. You get your hunker. That's an overwatch. So if they come up here, we're going to reveal them and shoot them. If they don't come up here, we will sniper reveal, I think. No, sniper can't see them again. I'm a little scared to move into this position. I don't want you to be revealed. I think they might come up here, though. So where do I need to put you if they do? You gotta have cover from them. If I move anybody up to here, they will see them, so... Do we just hunker here still? If they come up here and then they scramble and they scramble up to this, we're gonna get revealed. I think maybe we pull back just to be safe and we hunker down. Affirmative, covering now. Get some. 
And we overwatch, and you can't do anything special. You'll use a regular overwatch as well. They came up. We were not successful in shooting him down. One more. Ugh. You guys suck. They did see us on their turn, and they could potentially flank our gunner. No free actions. Oh wait, one free action. Overwatch from the ground. So you need to move. You can't stay here. Sniper, what do you have first? 44 and 27, and we do have rapid targeting. That's really not ideal at all. I would love to have an assault right now that I don't need to worry about concealment on. We could get flanks, but we could get flanked. I don't want to have to use smoke on this necessarily. This is a four person pod. Well, if we do reveal with our shinobi. Was this a four person pod? If we do reveal with our shinobi, then we can engage the way you engage in regular XCOM at least. So, like old fashioned XCOM, enemy, uh, enemy unknown. We're gonna move back into high cover. Question is, do we area suppress these fuckheads? I can hit both of them with an area suppression. Versus a 41% to hit that guy right now. Forty-four percent to hit that guy right now. I think we just take that shot, because he's only got four HP. If we hit him, we could kill him. We got two basically dice rolls to hit him right here. I would prefer to have high cover to do that though. Yeah, you can see him from here, you can see him from here. So that's fine, you're allowed to pull back to here and just shoot. The other guy's down below, he's not going to get his overwatch. That's going to be 40. Roll them dice. Nice dice roll. One more. I'd rather not use a grenade if we don't have to. And we have a shot from back here in full cover, so we're going to go for that. On my way. 38. That's 48 to graze. All we need is one. And we got five. That would have been good on the first hit. Okay. So we have the ability to suppress, or we have the ability to overwatch, or we have the ability to just shoot this guy. If we do suppress him, what's our plan to kill him next turn? Just volume of fire, basically, is all we have with our sniper. We could use holo targeting next turn, like just standard holo targeting. Yeah, all we have is volume of fire, so 27%. You've already worked a miracle for us, can you work another? Not yet, you can't. Okay. That is not good. It's not just volume of fire, it's also... Um, it's also we can... Uh, haul a target. And we still have the Shinobi available. Oh shit, I overwatched. I meant to hunker down. That could be bad. So he's gonna hunker. Their other guy doesn't move. We basically have nothing on this guy right now, so we're going to reload and hunker, I think. Rock and roll. Roger, if they move around to try and flank us, our sniper should get a good shot on them. We're just going to hold back and take this slow. So you're going to reload and overwatch. overwatch. You're going to reload and overwatch. Oh, yeah. If you didn't need to reload, I would have moved you up, actually. I would love to know where the other guy is, but it's dangerous to move in. Yeah, it's a little sketchy to move in. So we're gonna hunker you here. We can continue to suppress him. Either way, we should reload. Ready to rock. We've got zero to hit. We might as well continue to suppress, right? Come on, poke your head the other option is to overwatch to try and catch these guys. Here's the engineer. I think we got a good shot on him. And there's the gunner, who can see our sniper, or can't see our sniper. I think you can see the sniper, right? Yeah, you can totally see the sniper. 
Sniper has a 54 on the gunner, only a 29 on the engineer, so we want to deal with those two. What do we do to deal with those two? We've got an overwatch on the engineer, which we can flashbang off most likely. That's smoke. You've got the flashbang. Can I hit them both? I can hit them both. So we're going to use the flashbang to hit both of them. Remember, this is only half of them at this point. When we deal with this paw, this will only have been half of what they have. I would love to kill that engineer. It's going to take five damage to do so. I can't do it from high cover reliably. You can't get a safe flank against him either. You can't actually get any flank against him. So... We're going to okay. attempt it from low cover. We're going to try and hit him with a frag grenade and this. this might put more guys on yellow alert. Four damage, that's a start. Did we get this tree down to low cover? No, those trees have like 20 HP or something, so it, it's going to take multiple grenades if you want to use grenades. He's hunkered again. If we want to control him, All right, so we're gonna rapid target the gunner, and we're gonna go for the shot on the gunner. We could pull back with the sniper, but this is gonna be, I think, the best chance we're gonna get. 64, ventilate his skull, please. Boom! Oh, oh, brilliant. That wasn't his skull, but that was good Check enough. Shinobi, I still can't afford, like, I could have mopped these guys up using the Shinobi at this point, but I still can't afford that. You're gonna reload and continue to suppress the trooper. Eventually, once we deal with this engineer, I'll be able to start moving Let's the rookies up to flank, but for now, we're just gonna have to continue to suppress. Enemy locked out. And Shinobi. You continue to do nothing of value, except for... You're not even scouting for me. Can I get you scouting for me? Without revealing you? Depends on where the engineer moves. I'd rather have you close to the team, honestly. Hunker down. So we've got a disoriented engineer. And a suppressed... Ooh! He moves and he shoots. I don't think he moved, he just shot. He shot with suppression, so it was a bad shot. So the engineer is still in its cover, and it is not going to be suppressed, or not, um, not suppressed, um, not going to be locked down on this next turn. I cannot flank it. I need to get here to flank it, and I could reveal if I go anywhere closer. And I am in total cooldown on grenades, except for the shinobi. I really wish I had hail of bullets, man. I really, really wish we had hail of bullets. You've got a 25% on him. You've got what? A 25%. I can get 35s. I can make those two 35s. Yep, that's what we're going to do. We're going to holo target the engineer. Now, do I have a pistol shot I can take on him? I do, 24. Let's try that first. No dice, okay. So we should have two 35s. I might be able to make them a little bit better. Let's just take a look. Well, I can get to high cover here, which is better cover at least, if nothing else. 33, bring him down! 43 degrees! No. I've got another shot 
right here. 35, I need 45 to graze, one damage, big money, no hit. Negative damage. That means my sniper is in a dangerous way this turn because he is going to be able to hit him, potentially. Unless I take this shot. He's an engineer, he's probably going to flashbang us, right? Watch, he flashbangs us, then I'm definitely not going to kill him. Well, you know, I've got a few shots on him again, and I have a hollow target again if I need it. You know, I think we're still in the better position here. We continue to suppress this trooper. We can suppress forever, as long as we can reload and suppress, and he's the only target. And again, Shinobi is going to hunker down. Disorientation is gone. He goes back to 65 aim, right? Or does he have more than that? 65 aim. He jumps, moves into high cover, shoots the sniper. No, flashbangs. Disorients two of my rookies. Thirty-nine percent, no rapid targeting. Thirty-nine percent, come on. These marginal shots. <sighs> Missed. These marginal shots sometimes hit, and when they do, that's what we need. You've got a sixteen. You're behind high cover to him, so you are just going to take the sixteen. It's twenty-six percent. Yes! Five damage on a sixteen percent roll. That's your promotion, guaranteed as well. And you can start moving up towards this trooper, but you are disoriented, so I think you're going to actually uh, reload an Overwatch. I'm on it. And now we're going to take our time here. We're going to start moving up towards this trooper. We're going to keep suppressing it, get our rookies up to a position where they can flank it, and then kill it. Rock and roll. Yep. We haven't had another enemy come to us either, and it's been like two turns since we dropped that grenade. Oh, they're going to hunker. That's good. That means that I think they're probably too far away to have heard the grenade. Otherwise, they probably would have come to us by now. Zero percent. It is hunkered. Just reload. And you might as well haul a target since you can't really do anything else. I don't think we're going to take advantage of that haul a target, but, you know, you might as well do it. Now you can't get up to there. I would love if you could be hunkered wherever you're going to go. So we're just going to creep and hunker. I do have a grenade. I'd rather not use it on this clown though because it's probably going to be better used on we're green to go. the next pod. Watch. Remember, this is only half of them so far. We've got a lot of mission left. We have a plan to deal with this trooper. It all depends on what engage. gets in our way before we complete the plan. That and if he actually manages to get a really good marginal roll. No, nope, he hunkers down again. That's good. Where can you get this turn? You can dash up to here, and then next turn you should be able to run right here and kill him. Moving out. He won't be hunkered, but it should be okay. Reload and suppress again. Not exactly exciting. Maybe more exciting than an Overwatch spam, though, right? I mean, this is what they turned XCOM 2 into. Instead of the constantly creeping up and overwatching and creeping up and overwatching and actual good gameplay, they turned it into maintaining concealment on your one awesome fucking amazing soldier who could Superman the entire map if you really wanted to. Let's creep up with the shinobi. There's the turret. That's perfect, because we can snipe the turret from here. Which is amazing. We still have 0%. And we moved up, so we're not going to do that again. We can actually just snipe the turret this turn. No holo target. We're just going to go for the shot on it. 
Good hit. We need one more to bring it down. Deflection. Yeah. Turrets have squad sight. So now that that turret is active, actually... It could potentially shoot us here. Because turrets have squad sight. No hit. No hit. Okay, good. So we gotta kill, uh... We gotta kill this trooper. Can it over... Can it... It can't shoot overwatch through squad sight, right? 27% on it now. Hold on. First, rapid target the trooper because I don't want a chance missing it at all. Then we're going to shoot the turret. I don't think they have long watch, so I don't think they can shoot into squad sight. I think they just have squad sight. But I don't want to chance anything, so let's bring it down. This is 79 to graze. And we hit it. So that's good. I definitely got that one. And now... If you would do the honors for me, please, kill this fucking trooper in the fucking kill zone. Three damage is all you need. Finally! Got him. Yes. You got him, all right. Um, let's start creeping up. We can afford to creep up because we already have people up here and we know there's nothing here. The shinobi is here to scout for us. Out. Shinobi's actually going to move ahead from here. That's half of the map done, guys. That was four, five, six, seven. Do the turrets count? If the turrets it. count, that's eight. And I'm expecting about 15 aliens on this map. Move, move, move. Nothing's running towards us yet, which indicates that they're not quite on yellow alert yet, although they might have seen that turret get destroyed, and if they did, that'll put them on yellow alert. Doesn't look like it. Locked and loaded. So we continue to do this extremely carefully. This is going to be a long one, guys. Roger that. I think uh, you knew it was either going to be a super long one or a super short one when we started. And I uh, brought this squad to this mission. Okay. Maybe not the best equipped squad in the world, but definitely a fun one. It's killing time. Uh, I don't want to give up the high ground yet. I will rotate around here and we'll come off of this high point. We'll probably move the sniper up, though. Yeah, you can go to there. We'll overwatch with you. And sniper, we're probably going to move you up. You've only got one action left. Yeah, move up to this high cover. This little outcropping was really useful, but if I can get you up further, if all the fighting is going to happen further away, then I want you up here instead. Very good. I still don't want to go down there. This is kind of scary. Position confirmed. That's the equipment we're after. We'll uh huh. There's some supplies. The while we secure the area. I'm a little worried about the possibility that there could be pods on the other side of the train, but let's scout one area at a time, shall we? I don't want to go that far up. Move. Let's just creep ahead a little bit see what we see and we see nothing you know I'm gonna keep these people up on the high ground for now if we see them and pull them with the sniper well you know what we're gonna want no 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 Doing too much at once is a easy way to just get yourself fucking destroyed. So we are just going to scout for a bit. Just go scout for me. Still nothing. There's this in the way, so that's going to block line of sight for a lot of this stuff. I'm probably going to have to move the squad up, but I don't mind. Let's reload you and overwatch. I don't mind taking my time and scouting and then moving the squad up later. I think what I'm going to do here is cut for a little bit, guys, until we um, see some action or we find out what's going on or I, I find a pod or something like that, and I'll be right back. All right, so we're all the way up to the zone wall here, past this power station. We haven't revealed anything else yet. On Overwatch. Scanning. Moving to Overwatch. Overwatch. So we're probably going to rotate to defend from this direction right away. 
but let's just be certain that we are 100% sure about the situation before we say Confirmed. it's done and ready for dinner. Yep. That looks like this side of the train is clear. Whatever we're doing, it's going to be on the other side of the train, it seems. Okay. So I'm going to double Fernandez back, and we will set up to protect from this direction, and uh, we will see what we can do then. I'll be back. All right. So far, so good. Shinobi's moved back around this train. Double check. There's nothing over here. There's a sound cue coming up from that direction. That's the only indication I found. The other high ground on this map is over here. I'm going to start moving the squad across the train tracks here, uh, as far back as this, where there's cover. Getting up onto this, there's a vine here, another vine here. Setting up with at least a sniper up here and uh, going for the plays. You know, the plays for days. Got it! We know the shinobi's pretty far ahead, doesn't see anything, so we can afford to move down here a little bit. Uh, maintaining cover the whole way, though. I don't want to do this outside of cover. Actually, Sniper can move all the way back here, even. Maybe? Hmm. Ten nope. More. We're gonna stay close to the team. We shouldn't reveal this turn because the shinobi is the furthest one up ahead and they would have to come pretty far to do that. Yeah, we got that sound cue. I would love to know what's there. Shinobi, give me a little bit of vision, please. I did want to move the shinobi up on the high ground to show me what's up there. Okay, nothing here. Um, next turn, I think we're going to move up on the high ground and see what we can find up there. Let's have you guys go into position to get to the high ground on the next turn, though. Move it out. Uh, do it from cover. Roger, You're gonna have to do it from cover too. Ten four. Uh, no action for you yet, and you're gonna get all the way up to this uh, vine. All right, and you're just going to hunker down. What's making that noise? We actually have a chance at this supply raid, guys. Can you believe it? Like, holy crap, this squad on the supply raid. Shinobi, move upstairs. See now. if there's anything behind us here that we would pull, or if it's safe for everybody else to come up. It seems safe for everybody else to come up. There's a building here. I suppose there could be aliens in it. There's actually a lot of territory here that could be not safe. Let's Rolling. take a quick look. I think it's okay. Gunner, no reveal, so I am fine with that. Let's get everybody up there. Can you make it up? You can. You can make it up into this high cover. You're going to overwatch. You can't actually commit it yet until they make it up, though, so that's great. You're going to come up to here. And we're going to start pushing forward if there's no sound cues this turn, except for the one from this direction. Yeah, okay. We're going to gravitate towards this direction. I'll be back when we've got some more info. Yeah, this is the corner now. We can see everything here. We are fine. I'm going to start heading this way. I'll be back. And we got him, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, our shinobi, who is still concealed because we've maintained it this entire time, who's found a pod of four with a sectoid commander. So far away from everybody else. You got a 19 because he is technically in high cover. We have a 20 penalty due to weapon range, so we are going to want to get you a little bit closer, even though you're pretty high up. I think I'm going to put you here in this high go. cover. And we're going to get everybody else moved in. I think we do want to pull with the sniper from all the way across the map over here and just see what they do. If we can take a whole bunch of uh, shots against them before they even know what hit them, that would be great. Do we want to put anybody down below? Maybe. I mean, if you can't really shoot very well from up here, you should probably be below, but we want you in high cover. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. No need to ask twice. We'll put Lizbeth down here in high cover. 
And I guess I could put you down in high cover as well. I could put you here. That's probably the best. Moving to designated coordinates. It's high cover and is just as far back as everybody here is. And you are just going to hunker this turn. Because we are not ready to pull these assholes yet. Fuck. They went through the train. Oh, come on. Come the fuck on. I spent so much time tracking you guys down and you just go right through the train like a bunch of clowns. Does a sniper have a shot? A sniper doesn't get a shot. They're on yellow alert though. They did run, if you noticed. Let's move back into this high cover. I don't want to get any closer than this. I want to wait till they come back through, if they come back through. They should. Their objective is probably to patrol these supplies. And then we're going to shoot them with a sniper. Got it covered. We want to get maximum distance on these guys. No stock, unfortunate. So you're just going to overwatch. And you will hunker right in this position. Just let me know when they come back. That's really unfortunate. Are they going to come around and come up this one, maybe? On Overwatch. On Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Please come back, patrol. Watch, they're going to come around the train and ambush me from behind. Okay, it sounds like they went up along the other side, and they're going up the other cargo wagon. Like, they went up this way, and they're climbing up this one and probably patrolling back around. Patrols work in, like, box patterns. Overwatch! 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 So, Over yeah. Position. Got it covered. Come on. What was that sound? Show me your skulls. I want your juicy skulls. Here they are. Sectoid, sentry. What are they all? Trooper and an engineer. Okay, so I don't want you getting flanked. What's our sniper's shot right now? Only 64 on the trooper, or 34 on the engineer. I think we'll wait one more turn, although if we wait one more turn, they're probably just going to go into that cover again, which sucks. We might end up having to move our sniper, guys. Let's creep ahead to here. What do we see? no new information, which is good. That's exactly what I want. If we have to, we can move in and slash them pretty good. Alright. Let's wait one now. more turn and find out where they go. Come get some. He moves into cover, which is fine. I think I have a good shot on the sentry. We got a 66, which is a 76, because we're going to rapid target him with a 28 to crit. We could kill the sentry pretty certainly. Let's just make sure we have vision on the sentry and pull back the shinobi a bit. I just don't want to be in a position where we're going to be flanked. We just want vision on that sentry for certain. On the move. Yeah, there we go. That's all we need. And this is going to be it, guys. We're going to take overwatches with everybody else, just in case they do run towards us. You're going to hunker. And our sniper is going to take a 66, which is going to be a 76. Not on the sectoid, on that exposed sentry. And since they're not going to have any idea where we are, they're not going to know where to position themselves to defend from us. So we might get a good shot next turn as well. 76. Ventilate his skull, please. Well, you took out his chest cavity, which is almost just as good. That's that pod is now active. But they don't know where we are. Hey, that's a promotion. Awesome. Hey, guys. There, there's something here. It's like a mosquito bit me. Oh yeah, nice. Good job, trooper. Good job, engineer. Wait, did you just spot us? Oh shit. He's gonna shoot too. And he's gonna miss too. Alright, well we are revealed, so we're all in. Miss. Ooh, that's bad. No panic. 
No panic. He's got one HP left. One HP left. Oh my god. Yeah, so you are gonna have to kill that trooper for us, and we're gonna have to work some magic to kill the rest of these guys. Either that or just run really far away. I can kill the sectoid. I have a chance at killing the engineer. It's not, you know, fantastic, but it is a chance. Let's do this. Let's get all of our shots in position first, though. So yeah, you've got a 33 on that engineer. That's not insignificant. I can kill the sectoid with a slash almost guaranteed, although if we don't, you die. Can you get a shot Understood. from here? I don't know Moving if you can. Out. You might be too far back. Yeah, you're too far back. That's unfortunate. You can get a shot from up here. You can probably get a shot from here, too. Elizabeth. Indeed you can. You have a flanking shot on the trooper, but that's okay. What is the sniper's shot on the trooper? 70. 50% for you. 32% for you. You don't have a shot on the trooper. You've got a 33 on the engineer. We can area suppress probably all three of them, actually. Yeah, I could area suppress all three of them if we wanted to. I'm going to have you take the exposed shot on the trooper for 68%. Break him down. You suck. You really suck. Okay. Sniper. You're going to take the trooper down at 78% because you're the MVP of this mission so far. There's a crit too. Alright, you're not going to do anything except for either overwatch or move in closer because that's pretty much all you can do. You are going to go ahead and area suppress both these clowns. And Shinobi is going to run away as far and as fast as they can behind high cover so that uh, you don't die because that was a bad crit you took. And yeah, I guess you can technically dash forward. They're probably not going to run too far, so yeah, we'll move forward. We'll set you up for a potential flank in a future turn. That's a hunker. Sectoid is going to raise a zombie? He's going to do something out in that direction. What? What's there to do out in that direction? He reanimated something. What's dead out there? I was, not, I was not aware there was something dead out in that direction. I don't know what he reanimated. I'm a little worried. I can get a flank on the sectoid. That's cool. Oh, I know what he reanimated. He reanimated the guy that the sniper shot on the first turn. Cool, okay. So they didn't really do much of anything. You still have a shot over here, but it's 23 now. We can move to start getting flanks on these guys. There's a zombie out there too, though, so we got to be careful about that. 32, only 11 on the engineer because he's hunkered, I'm guessing. Yeah, he's hunkered. 32 on the sectoid. Remember the last time we took a shot on a sectoid with a low uh, percentage chance? It, uh, it didn't go too badly for us. Your percentages are shit as well, so you're going to reload and area suppress them again. I'm ready. And we're just going to start moving up for flanks. If I can get you somewhere where you can see the sectoid but not the engineer, I could technically take that shot, but it's eight. Yeah, that's rough. Eight damage we're not going to be able to do. So we're just going to go for here. You're going to be in range of a grenade next turn, so that's good. You've got your piss poor chances of hitting anything as well, so you're going to creep up as well. We have to be careful. You don't have a grenade, and we don't want to get too close that that zombie is going to see us. 27%. Let's just overwatch. Shinobi is going to lay in the back for a bit, and... Uh, Hunker down, because you don't have a med kit. Sniper has a med kit, but I want to keep using the sniper. We're taking a 32% shot. Or we're reloading. We're reloading. Sorry. 
And then we will hollow target the sectoid just in case we get a um, reaction shot with the area suppression. It'll help the reaction shot. That's it. That's the only reason we're doing it. He shoots and he hits through area suppression. And she hunkers down. That's unfortunate. He moves through area suppression. Mind control. Okay. You're, you flanked yourself though, so... You know, that's a thing. Okay, so what can I do? I have a 50% on the engineer. I can't rapid target it. Do you not have the ability to flank the sectoid? You do. So why the fuck did that sectoid... Do? I don't think you have a shot from here, because you have to sidestep. Maybe you do if you sidestep that way. And where are... Right, that's you. What do you have? You could technically flank the sectoid as well. You have to kill the sectoid or flashbang it, unfortunately, and you don't have a flashbang. Shinobi has a flashbang, but Shinobi is really far away. Out of curiosity, if the Shinobi wanted to kill one of these guys, yeah, we could kill the engineer potentially with the Shinobi. 83%. Pretty good chance of killing that engineer. I don't have command, otherwise I would just kill both of them right now. So you're going to move ahead, and you'll take your 76% with a 26% crit. Even if we crit, we would not have sufficient damage to kill that sectoid, so that's unfortunate. We're actually going to do this. We're going to flank ourselves, because Jonas here has a lot of health. And we're going to go for the flank on the sectoid. 63% to kill. Bring it down. That is not bringing it down, buddy. Yep, that is very not bringing it down. Um, it's up to you again with a 31%. No holo targeting. I guess I could have holo targeted it. That is something I should have remembered. Good shot! Oh man, you are saving our asses left, right, and center today. Check it before you get too close. That kills the size zombie, that breaks the mind control. And what do we do with you? Well, you can get a flank here, but you're not likely to get five damage. Well, no, you've got a chance. Okay, tell you what. We're gonna do this. We're we're going all out. We're gonna go for the flank. Five damage. Two damage. That's unfortunate. But now, you are gonna go to finish this. You've got 93% to do some kind of damage. All you need is a graze. Kill him, please. Nicely done. Is that mission accomplished? There could actually be more aliens. Did you see that one? This looks nope, are that's down it. And the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Excellent results. Only some slight little wounds. Not the biggest ones in the world. Our shinobi's gonna be out for a while. Actually, we don't have an AWC yet, so the shinobi's gonna be out for a long while. But um, that was done well. There was 14 aliens, so there was one less than I anticipated. Um, because they were vulnerable, I guess. I did boost it. Uh, and we not only succeeded, we, we had a relatively good result. We just had to be careful and uh, take our time with it. And that keeps Advent Strength at 1 for the um, Radio Tower mission, unless they call for emergency off-world reinforcements or super emergency off-world reinforcements. Awesome, guys. I'll see you back on the Avenger. I hope that one's worth a few promotions. We have a couple rookies who are definitely getting promoted. I can't imagine the aliens are too happy it's promotions across the board. 31 days. That's rough. That's Ghostwalker, though. 
Uh, our first rookie is going to become a ranger. 13 mobility, 5 health, 73 aim. That's acceptable. Alright, I don't mind that too much. Lance Corporal Johnson, what's your call sign? It's Long Walker. High def hollow for Long Walker. And Lance Corporal Richter, what's your call sign? Yogi. Okay, I guess. Uh, Yogi, you're gonna pick up a lockdown. Gain plus 15 to hit against enemies who attempt to move when suppressed. You kinda need it. Plus 15 is a lot of extra to hit. Hail of Bullets is guaranteed to hit. But, uh, you are gonna be suppression specced. And Carlson. Rookie Carlson. Lisbeth Carlson. You're one of my favorites, and guess what? You got technical. 14 mobility too. You should be okay. 5, five HP. Yeah, you should be a fine technical. And I have a technical in training, so that's going to give us three of you guys, I think. That's nice. We picked up an advent data pad, which is worth tons of money or tons of intel, one or the other. We might wait until they're uh, on sale at the black market and sell this. Nine trooper corpses, two sectoids, a turret wreck, 16 alloys, 15 crystals, and 57 supplies. That's exactly what we needed. Alloys, crystals, and supplies. We do need another scientist as well, but we have lasers in production. Datapad decryption, trooper autopsy, drone wreck. Excellent. All right. That was a long one, guys. I'm going to call it quits here for this video. It's been about an hour. I'll see you guys next time.